Now, if we look at it carefully, let's say without numbers, what I want you to understand the concept before maybe I give an example with numbers. So let's say we have, um, let's say that we are asked to calculate for the total resistance. This RT you are seeing here is a short form of what? Total resistance. R is total resistance. All right. So you look at it that uh, what you only have to do is that just add them because they are resistors connected in series. Anytime resistors are connected in series, the only thing is that one resistor plus one resistor uh, constitute um, summation of one figure. So here we can say R1 plus R2 will give you the total resistance. So let's say example, a data is given us, let's say a data is given us R1 is equal to 4 ohms and uh, R2 is equal to 2 ohm. 2 ohms. Yeah, R1 4 ohms and then uh, R2 2 ohms. Now what you only have to do is that uh, just uh, enter the numbers into the R1 and R2. And what we can see here is that uh, the R1, the R1 here is 4. I hope you are seeing it very careful. This is the R1, which is 4. And this, so here R1 plus R2, which is 2. So what we do is that we just add them. 4 plus 2, we have 6 ohm. So in any case, a question is given this way, and we are told, you are being told to calculate for the total resistance. The only thing you do here is just add these numbers, R1 plus R2, and then you have 6 ohms. Well, in the next video, I will show you how to calculate the current. Uh, and uh, circuits that are connected um, in series, resistors that are connected in series. I'll show you how to calculate for the current in this uh, in this particular um, diagram. Right. So let's let's check another video um, in the next section.